So it's a lovely frosty morning and Father Phil was busy yesterday. He got the old skeleton of the bee harvester up on the old bale trailer and also my saxo, my very first car, Sitchin saxo. Not that I drove it for too long because the brakes went in it and it's kind of taken off me then but she's finally going too and that bale trailer is going as well. Uh, but as you can obviously see there's a tyre there not looking too healthy our tyre man is going to come out and change that just to leave us safe for travelling on the road we we'll have to strap it down with a few other bits we'll go peg up in the trailer to get rid of but yeah Father Phil was a busy man yesterday you can also see where he cut off the arm to come out on that because it was just it, it was like four foot how over here bad enough that that's out but that was way out so he cut that off as well so that we'd be able to move it a bit handier so today we are going after the burnt common the massey 32 seven years waiting to be got rid of well she's finally going today well tomorrow but we're picking it up today so anyways yeah father was a busy man yesterday while i was busy farming so he's gone to go get a trailer so i'm going to look after the cattle and then we'll be heading on up the road to go pick up our old burnt combine Combine recovery is a go. Father Phil is behind us in the loading shovel. We have a load, we borrowed a low loader without riggers to bring the combine. And bro is here to fly the drone. Now that he's off from school because it's the Christmas holidays. And God only knows when he's going to be going back to school at that rate. Because things aren't looking great at the minute. But anyways, we'll be on and we go pick up a combine. So, here we are. And there is the combine through that dirty window. Also, yeah, you can see the mug yard is still missing, but don't mind that. We're not here to video talk about that today, but there's the combine and there's bro. So we'll let Father fill in first and then we'll back into the field. So, part of the plan is to try and line ourselves up as square as we can with the trailer. And then Father Phil is going to push up the combine onto the trailer. We'll have a look around it. I'll show you some of the damage done to the engine because there's like there's stuff melted off the engine. We'll just try and line it up as square as ever we can. I'd say we're pretty good at that. Good, yeah? Right. I have to Right. So anyways, we'll go to help the outriggers. I'll get bro to get the drone ready. And we'll have a look at the combine. Right, bro, you get the bag there. Also, one of the things, I don't think we've ever talked about how this combine burned. We won't have time to talk about it now, but when we go home and we're having the dinner, We'll have a bit of story time with Father Phil on this combine. But anyways, we go get ourselves lined up and ready now to put this combine on the trail. So, we're now ready to load. We have our outriggers on, tied down. All ready. Bro's ready to put up the drone. I'm going to put down the camera while we're loading because this is high, high octane stuff, you could say. So, no, com no camera, bro try the drone and I'll put the ca camera down somewhere. That's the combine, engine fire. The front of the combine is good, front wheels, cab, we're hoping to take the front wheels off it. But the back, it's all up there, there's bits melted off the engine, injectors, it's, eh, there's a, it's, it melted, it really did just melt. It burned out in the middle of the field seven years ago, and we pushed it up out here, out of the way. But anyways, we'll let Father Phil and my uncle explain at dinner time what happened, but put down this camera, and we go, get that girl onto that low loader, hopefully without any issues. Hopefully. Fingers crossed.
So, as you just seen there, the combine rolled off the trailer just after we were after squaring her up, had her sitting lovely. We were just putting back on the bucket on the loading shovel to prop it from behind so we could strap it down just in case something like that would happen. The belly of it was sitting on the back of the trailer, two flat wheels. You actually see in the video there's something goes flying across the trailer and then it rolls down. Yeah, it really did caught us off guard. Luckily, we were all well away from it and we had to reload it and we had issues then reloading it we got some extra help we got an extra tractor and loader we reinforced the timber outriggers with some box section and we went at it again and we were a lot closer to it coming off the second time trying to put it on and the camera wasn't out just purely because as father phil said getting the combine on that and getting the combine to the scrapyard was one of the most stressful things he has ever done and i can tell you it is just one of them edge of your seat things trying to load that girl onto that trailer and watching it go down the road which will be in the next video when we're doing the combine killer seeing it being chopped up but yeah that getting rid of that combine was a very very stressful situation but anyways we'll get into the rest of the video so we now have the combine on the low loader strapped down as good as we can it is tight turning circle it's a fair way on it and it's very high it's going to be a nice slow steady drive home and we're going to see then how it drives home whether we bring it to wilton's yard ourselves or whether we'll see will they bring it on the sled too high in the sled huh too high in the sled too high in the sled oh yeah, so yeah, pick up a few bits on the ground and we're going to be on home and yeah, it's, it's, it's big, it's awkward. It's going to be a slow, slow trip home and an even slower trip up to Cavan. Anyways, we'll start making that journey now. since she last, last left the yard she's now home in one piece and hopefully he gets into avenue without it turning over it is a wee bit wobbly but we'll catch up dinner is ready now so we'll catch up with him at dinner and see why he thought it load so i just bring this in this avenue not to have it in the way oh yeah no bother uh, it wasn't actually too bad. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. It wasn't fine. too bad. Oh, it, it, it's. I can see it coming behind you. It's pivoting a bit on the. And we get a few back. more straps. So, yeah, a few more straps and down. strap her up high. But that's good. It, no, no, she's on the way that, to Calvin. Yeah, that, we'll travel that way to Calvin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, no, she's good. She's that far. Yeah. That was the biggest job of putting her up on it. It's very easy taking them off because <laughs> gravity is a big help. Yeah. Gravity works again, you know, when you're trying to put things up. I suppose yeah. I better take that bag off you. Well, yes, I have no license to carry that bag. That's the drone. So anyways, we go have the dinner. We'll have a bit of a story time and then we'll move on to the next lock of scrap gathering for tomorrow. Well, Nor do I, because we won't get it in here to work on it and we won't have the space. No, you have to do it inside. We'll do it inside in the yeah. silage pit. And yeah, we'll do it in the dark. You will have to get the, the, loads, yeah. the loads ready to rock. Yeah. So we're here with Father Phil, we're going to do story time, but first I just want to give a, a, a business a plug that is delivering milk to doors, the Nebton Milkman, he's delivering milk to doors, his Jersey milk, great stuff, he also does organic milk, normal milk and cream and honeys and jams and stuff, all Irish stuff, butter milk, butter milk does everything and the Jersey milk, that, that's a favourite in oh, this well, house. We were used to that. Yeah. Yeah. Brought back good memories. Yeah, so as Unclean said when he when he tasted it when we got the first the first delivery of it, says it's what he's been missing for the last sixteen years because it's sixteen years since we milked cows. But anyways, just if you're interested in finding out where to get your own milk, he covers Cavan, Monaghan, Longford, Mead, Loud, Westmead. It's six counties. There'll be a link in the description down below to his Instagram page or Facebook page, and there'll be a phone number there. If you're interested, you can hit him up down there. Tell him I sent you because it's a great service and it's great to get good quality milk that just does not completely different taste to what you buy in the supermarkets but anyways that's not what we're here to talk about so the combine 
how did it end up how it ended up well the story of the combine from start to finish no no just the, the burning no well i suppose you can no, say where we, yeah where we bought it and then go we, skip to the end we went up to north <laughs> we went up to north to look at a tractor a 6190 yeah i wanted a few times i think the only time when we looked at the tractor the tractor was wrong yeah gearbox was wrong enough and we went from that on to another man that we deal with in the north and we ended up buying a 6180 yeah with an electric forward in reverse yeah yeah and when we were finishing up the deal on it, he said to me, he says, no, he says, you know what, you won't go home, he says, in this dark evening, you won't be going rushing home for a while, it was in the month of November. He says, you tip down to Matter of Felt, he says, and go to Douglas Hamilton yeah. and Jonathan Hamilton. He says, they have a fine selection of clean machinery. Yeah. And that was the first time we were in their yard, and we drove into the yard, and the first thing we seen was that combine yeah. in the shed. I remember going to look at it. And it was getting dark now. Yeah. It was almost dark in the month of November, and... Yeah, we, we acquired a bow and we went home and we chewed the fat and we talked about it and we wanted another one. We went back up in February and we bought it and we bought a sprayer off them. Yeah. And it was delivered in May. Yeah. Um, so just like a brand new combine. Yeah. There was not a scratch on it. There was, I think, 1,500 hours on the drum and maybe less than 2,000 on the engine. It was one owner. I came out of Glasgow. Yeah. And it never was washed. Yeah. And the lad that delivered it was the lad that collected it in Glasgow. And he says he met a thunderstorm coming through Glasgow. Now, Hamilton had used it that harvest of 07. Mm. And uh, he says it was a black combine when he picked it up. Yeah. And when the thunderstorm was over and the sun came out, he got the fright of his life when he looked in the mirror. The combine was like brand new. Right. It was just bright, smashing. Oh, mm. there wasn't a bit of faded. Fa 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 well, well minded combine. Serious, and the manual was like an encyclopedia. Yeah. Everything the man done with the combine was written in it. Yeah. It was four wheel drive. Very unusual. Massey 32 four wheel drive combine 14, 14, foot, head. 14 foot head. Yeah. So we went, we used it from 2008 to 13, and in the harvest of 13, was it more than any other harvest, it was a bit difficult. Like it, it normally is, the showers and one thing or another. And um, I was cutting a bit of oats for another man with the little 788, and Ian was cutting with the combine in a field of oats, and the coming shower of rain. And he knocked off the combine and he went home with a load and I went back, I got home in the meantime and come back to him and we went back up and we started it and went to move it and just as we went to move it something... Did you not unload it or was it unloaded? Oh, we had it unloaded. We did, we unloaded, there was a tank of oats. Yeah, we, had, I, we, we let it run. We let it run for a few minutes and we unloaded the tank of oats and yeah. the minute he went to move it, there was a merciful crack above on the top of it and a, we think it was a hydraulic hose burst mm. and it sprayed oil all into the right of alternators and all that area and the next thing was there was a fireball and it's her the oil from down the sides of the combine burning yeah and we had two fire extinguishers and we wasted our time and she was full of diesel yeah and she, we rang the fire brigade and sure <laughs> ah she would look at the amount of diesel and stuff that was in it looking enough the field was damp yeah and after rain and it didn't burn <coughs> didn't burn off, so anything, anything on the field really much harm. um it just burned out yeah uh, they came about no offense to the fire reserves but it was 40 minutes before they got to the field and mm. it was, had started to die down at that stage. Yeah. Um, the only thing that didn't burn was the head and the two front wheels. Yeah, and the cab. And the cab. The cab was a little bit of melting here and there, but the back of it was completely destroyed. Yeah. Um, Everything melted off the engine. We'll have a look at this after, but all the injectors, alternator, all that melted off the engine. Um, we had it insured, and we bought it back off the insurance company after months later. And the following year, we moved it to the corner of the field because I had a customer for it. Yeah. In the north, that was breaking machinery, but he couldn't get it up there cheaply. Yeah. Very awkward thing, as you've seen. Yeah, before. very awkward thing to move. Oh, so not the better of it. Uh, to move. Yeah. Very awkward, and it never was moved, and it sat there and sat there for the last seven years. Yeah. Till today. Yeah. As, as my father has new saying is, God bless YouTube, because all this work that's been lying around and waiting to get done is actually getting done now to make videos, so... You shortly went out of work. Yeah. Hopefully. Anyways, just one thing I wanted to say. When I remember when the combine, even in the combine burned, I was upstairs playing on the old Xbox. I could have been playing GTA 5, so I think it was only after it was the first day of the plow match. Yeah. In 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 oh in thirteen. In thirteen. To choose and for the plow match. I, I can remember getting the phone call, yeah, the combine's after burning. And I was just, oh shit, balls. And I I just stopped what I was doing and I left and I went into the farm and I started looking busy. So I didn't know how else to do. <laughs> 
Not much you could do. No, not much I could do oh, where I was, but... Stand back and look at it. Yeah. Oh, sure, two, three days later, I could still at the board and smell it in my nose. Yeah. It, it, was, it was terrible. But that's what it is. But oh these things happen. Ha and happens happens to everyone at some stage. It well, just it, I prefer it didn't happen to that combine, but... It yeah, so that combine was an awful right combine. Oh, it was it mint. Yeah. Mint. Absolute mint combine. They just you nearly wouldn't get another one like it. Yeah, and they, they they couldn't get one like it. No, we couldn't after. Couldn't. Insurance, I said to them, look, us, um, replace the, the combine. We didn't want money. I said, mm. don't want money. Just leave back what we lost, and they couldn't find it. Yeah, they they, they found one. Well, they, they found, found it in, in Ontario. In, in Alberta. Yeah, in Canada. In in, in, in Canada. Alberta, in Canada, they found another four wheel yeah, drive thirty two with a fourteen foot head on it. Yeah, and that was the only one they could find for sale. Yeah, and they said, well, they weren't going to bring that one to us. Yeah, so. <laughs> That was it. That's it. So anyways, we'll tip back out and we'll finish up our, our gathering of scrap. And that's the story of the combine and how it burned. So anyways. Yeah. The joys of farming. The joys Live of you. tillage. Live with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, just busy feeding cattle. But while I wait for me sister tempted to uh, feed her because she's now, you could say, an employee of the farm while she sorts herself out for going away. But anyways. We'll just climb up and look into the skip, which is pretty much full. So yeah, it is literally full. 717 Harvester. There you can see the digger bucket there. That is the back actor of our old 165 Industrial. That green thing there is a bit off the bee harvester that was sticking out too far, so we chopped it off. So Father Phil is actually just gathering up a few small bits just to peg in. There's a best bit. So I do. There's quite a lot of scrap in that now. Quite a lot of scrap. Might get a bit more in that side, but it's good other than that. Yeah. She's full. Now let's just get our larger scrap sorted for tomorrow and it'll all be going away. So just we're doing the last feeder there. But well, some of the things we have to take off, we're taking the auger off the combine to repair the auger on our Massey 32. We're taking the door off because the door is the same. And that, that's really a lock of switches out of the cab. There's not much that the same in that combine on our bigger 38 Massey. And we'll also, it's on wheels at the minute, but when we get up to Wilton's, they'll be taking off the wheels and we'll be bringing back them wheels as we want them wheels for our Ford sprayer. Because they're a good set of wide. 800s. I think I think they're 800s. Oh, doesn't matter. Anyways, I gotta go fill a dye feeder now. So, I currently have the door off. Dogger must be nearly ready for off. Okay, waiting for me. Everything going okay? You didn't need me. Look, we managed without him. Yeah, we, we actually managed without yeah. you. Yeah. Survive without me. Oh. But putting on a few extra straps there, anyways. She's just a little bit going down the road. She's a little bit sway. So, but an extra few straps should solve that problem. Also, while I was away, our other bee harvester got pulled out. Our old twin row armor salmon. So, she's. She's ready for off. She's going to be put on the sled with the lorry. So the lorry will be picking up, skip up there that's full. Be picking up this. We'll be bringing that trailer, the car, the other skeleton of a bee harvester, and then a pallet of batteries, I think is the plan, and a few other bits. So could have done with bringing one of my torches in. Forgot about it. But you'll see it tomorrow morning in the daylight. But yeah, it's literally it was completely overgrown with briars and we did take some things off it. It something to do with the hydraulics went in it. The motor or something something to do with the hydraulics went, that's why we stopped using it. And we've taken carousels and we've taken uh, hydraulic motors off it for other jobs. 
but her time has come and she's heading off to be recycled with the combine so they're strapping away so anyways I'm gonna go get this auger off with them and I have to go again to do some other errands later so we get this girl sorted so now everyone it is cold and raining and we have to get this all ready for morning could really do a really really big workshop at the minute our own workshop that wouldn't fit into even if we wanted it to so it's neither here nor there but anyways yeah we have to get the auger off the straps are finished on it we have to sort how her other load gets strapped down go all turned around all ready for morning we also have to measure see how high it is because it has to be under 15 foot 6 15 foot 3 for the road and if it is a case that it's not there Wiltons is coming with the tools of persuasion to the cab so they're coming at 8 o'clock in the morning that we won't have all ready for when they come so we can tip straight on us sending down a van to escort us up to their recycling plant so that's gonna be cool it's gonna be really interesting but anyways it's cold it's wet we gotta get this finished and it is 8 o'clock we're doing well to be in B12 but anyways It's just a matter of getting that tractor full of diesel washed away in it, ready for more than the other tractor and load is ready to go. So yeah, we're just about finished now and it's actually a bit earlier, it's not quite 10 o'clock yet. This is a bit earlier than we thought we get that done. So yeah, grand job. Straight back. You'll do! Right, so as I was saying, that is two load of scrap, ready to go. Two tractors all ready for off tomorrow. So, we will leave it at that for today. And we'll pick it up again in the morning when the whole lot is heading for Kiavan. So, it's the end of the picking up a combine video and I was challenged by Edu Agri. He's after starting a fit farmer fitness challenge uh, yeah, as you can see, I, well, I'm not exactly the fittest man in the world, but I can get around the bed very fast tonight. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we have to, um, the challenge is to literally just hang uh, for as long as you can. Um, I'm a bit taller than what I'm going to hang out with, so I'm going to have to bend my knees, but anyways, I give it a go. I ain't going to last two minutes and 40 something seconds if I hang for 30 seconds, but I'll die. But anyways, very good to it. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you didn't even make ten seconds. Did I not? No. But you're doing it on your fingertips, so that's a lot. Yeah, I we just don't exactly have anything to hang out of. 
No, a nice loader tractor armed uh, and whatnot. Do Anyways, do that one first at 64 80 tomorrow. Oh, thank you. No, there's there, 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 there. Maybe if I do it this way. You want to try it? Try it again, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> no, I can't. It's hurting my wrist. Five seconds. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Let's just forget about fitness, me. Not this year. It's not, that's not my thing. Anyways, you can check out Heidi Agra. He started the Farm Fitness Challenge. I don't know who else done it, but anyways. That's my part done. Not that I lasted very long. But anyways, you on something. You have everything. No. And fitness and this doesn't go well together. But anyways, one thing that I for, have been forgetting to say for a while now is Farm Flicks. You don't know who Farm Flicks are. They're like Netflix, but for farmers. A lot of you that were watching me last year would have seen that I was giving them the plug last year, but they have an online web service where you videos, just 250 odd back catalog of farming videos. Whether you're into stock or machinery, they have it all. They have the loft, stockyard, straight six. There is a huge range of videos there, all ready for you to watch. If you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description down below to a landing page of mine where you'll see me again, give you another speech of how great it is and why I <coughs> subscribe to it. And you can, while you're there, you can check out a 24 hour free trial where you don't have to put any credit card information. You can check it out for free for 24 hours, see if you like it and see whether you want to buy the year subscription or not. And if you do decide to buy the year subscription, not only are you getting a great deal on some cracking content, you're also helping out the channel while you're at it. But anyways, we'll leave it at that for today's video. That is it. I'm not fit and my fingers are very sore now. Good luck.